Well, folks, so I rolled out two rigs, but I am not sure if I'm going to be able to do anything tonight. The clouds are not going away, and the weather forecast is getting worse. Now it says it's not going to be totally clear until 1 a.m. Rats. Okay, so even if I don't get the image tonight, and it's not looking like I'm going to be able to, I've still captured two more objects, and I'm sticking to the game plan. I'm doing broadband in one-shot color on the Celestron Rasa, and I'm doing narrowband on the Explorer Scientific Scope, and it's working out well. And a lot of people are asking me, well, what can you do in narrowband during galaxy season? And I'll, I'll show you what I captured. And on, on the broadband side, I captured a very unusual pair. I've always been fascinated with this combination, but I never captured it before. And I, I'll show you what I got. Oh, there's two of you now. You got a little guy here called King, and there is Kane, my buddy Kane. Except Kane is a very jealous dog. He doesn't let me pet King. Why? Why? Come on. Come on, King. Hi, King. Hi, King. Can I pet King? Can I pet King? Come on, King. Come here. No, 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 no. Don't pick on him. Don't pick on him. I know you like to pick on him if you see me pet him. Okay, I'm not going to pet him. Okay, so this first object I want to show you is called the Headphones Nebula. And I look at it, and I'm still not sure how it gets its name Headphones. I, I'm not seeing it, so if one of you know, let me know in the comments. But it's a planetary nebula around, around 1,600 light years from Earth. And I captured it with my Explorer Scientific Telescope in narrowband. And I'm surprised more people don't capture this one. It's actually a really bright target. And it's still high in the north if anybody wants to give it a shot. And I only use narrowband, but I've seen before with people who go deep on the broadband side. And if you use broadband, you might even be able to see a galaxy straight through, a distant galaxy right in the middle or somewhere towards the middle of this nebula. It's a really cool effect if you want to incorporate all that data I didn't go that extra mile. I just wanted to capture something in narrowband before the clouds came for the next week. But I still think it's a cool looking target. Okay, so here's that unusual pairing I was talking about. I captured this with my Celestron Rasa telescope and one shot color camera. And it's the only combination of a very bright nebula and very bright galaxy that I can think of that are close together that you can fit in a single frame without having to go super wide field. And this is the Owl Nebula, which surprises me. It looks very similar and is very bright in broadband, almost the same as you would see in narrowband. And this is the Surfboard Galaxy. Now, even though they look close together, the ne this nebula, the Owl Nebula, is actually in our own Milky Way galaxy, thousands of light years away while the surfboard galaxy is millions of light years away. And the, uh, the best thing about this picture, and by the way, I had to darken the background in this picture more than I wanted. Um, I, again, I was capturing under hazy skies, plus the light pollution. I had a lot of gradient issues that I'm trying to hide by making the, the background darker. But the cool thing about this picture are all the other distant galaxies in it. There's a distant galaxy there, another one there, and these are hundreds of millions of light years away and they're all over this picture there and there and i'm, I'm going to show you some of the how far they are um, at the end of this so but that's all i wanted to show you guys that's, that's all i've got i still have more objects that i haven't processed yet so uh but with the moon out maybe i'll have time to process i don't really like imaging broadband with the moon out of course so We'll, we'll see how it goes, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you later.